Grand Rising YouTube. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to talk to y'all about a thing that we're encountering now called cancel culture. Huh? I, I'm not a fan of it just because I was born in 88. So like I'm used to life being a certain way. Um, and I mean, as far as being a person that comes from a group of people that have dealt with, um, I guess we can say, I don't even want to say like, um, just being like, you know, talked down to, mistreated, all of that, you know, like canceling things was never a thing to me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if you don't like something, you just don't rock with it. So, um, as far as like the cancellation of it, kind of lame to me. But the reason that I'm posting this video is because it like sparked a subject yesterday or sparked controversy yesterday. They canceled uh, Pepe Le Pew. Through the last week, they've canceled uh, Eminem for the song with Rihanna, whatever Rihanna has said at it, on it. Um, then they canceled, um, what else the hell they canceled? Dr. Seuss, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird shit going on as far as like the cancelization. And I don't, I don't understand the fact of like y'all feeling like y'all can actually cancel anything. I don't see how you are that entitled to feel like you can cancel a motherfucker or what they got going on. You don't want to listen to something. They, they just talking about canceling uh, R. Kelly. I was talking about uh, canceling comedians for certain jokes, Kevin Hart, like, for a tweet or something. Like, bro, like, listen, if you don't bang with something, you don't like something, you don't rock with something, you don't, you know what I mean? Don't, just don't pay attention to it. Like, that's, it's really just that easy, bro. Like, like, and then, like, when I say, like, the Me Too movement, I'm tired of, like, the Me Too and the cancel culture everybody like oh well how can you equate like rape and and bro no one's no one's taking rape as a joke no one's like i love law and order as you but I, I i'm not taking rape as a joke or trying to discredit it in any way what i'm saying is like the me too shit as far as the inclusiveness my mother is a single black woman. Has been since I was born, and I'm sure that I know of. Well, no. They broke up. They divorced when I was three or four. But since three or four, I watched my mom with two kids, 10 years apart. I watched her do it, dolo, by herself. We didn't get food stamps. We didn't get cash assistance. We ain't get no type of handouts, G. Like, my mom worked in county government my entire life. So I, like, y'all can't hit me with that, that rhetoric at all. Like, I'm not, I'm not one that stands for it. As far as the women go, I, my mom had two whammies against her, according to y'all logic. She's black and she's a woman. Two whammies against her and she thrived through in one of the most racist cities in Pennsylvania, Erie, PA. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Like, that's why I feel the way I do. Women don't get treated fairly. Women don't make the same amount as men. Bro, 90% of the... Okay, see, because the way that, like, society is now, these neck tattoos, things of that nature, they, they stop me from getting a job. I was just working, thank God, until the pandemic came. But women are the workers. You know how many women work in home health? Or not RNs, but you know what I mean? Like nurses and things like that and LPNs. And, come on, bro. Like y'all, this the rhetoric that was used in 1970 and 1980s, you can't even attempt to use it now. At all. It's just stupid, honestly, for you to try to. So I'm I'm just I'm not with cancel culture. Y'all, you know what I mean? Like, share, subscribe.
comment down below how you feel about cancel culture. This was just a simple, like, you know, it, I guess a vent of rant just to get it off my chest how I feel because, like, cancel, bro, like, if you don't like something, don't like it. Because, like, if we really wanted to cancel cartoons, the Tasmanian Devil, the Tasmanian Devil, go Google what the Tasmanian Devil represents and what it was, like, based off of. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all not, y'all not about to, we not about to sugarcoat like, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer, and if you do it to one, you gotta do it to the other. I don't like, I've never liked motherfuckers that pick and choose who, pardon my friend. I've never liked, I probably cussed a million times in this video, it is what it is. But I, I've i never liked people that, oh, he do it, I'm gonna make fun of him, but if he do it, I'm, I mean, like, that is always got under my skin always has got under my skin. Cause why is it okay for him to do it if it's not okay for them to do it? That's goofy. I don't deal with that. I don't like it. I, I don't I don't subscribe to that. But like I said, um, I, I just wanted to get that out just because, and I mean, I gotta get y'all more content. But um, like, share, subscribe, you know, comment down below, comment down below. Um, if you rock with the cancel culture, if you feel like it's okay, uh, or if you feel like I'm bugging, tell me. It's all welcome, bro. Like, let, let me know what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna holla at y'all, man.